ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang and this is K-Check. The search is almost over pero tuloy pa rin ang Brain Power Challenge sa ating mga contestants. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Macy. Macy is a third year BA Theater Arts Performance major in UP Diliman. Beyond the spotlight, she enjoys doing physical activities, language learning, and finding harmony in the pursuit of artistic expression and personal vitality. Sunod naman, we have Jana. Jana is a student of UP Diliman, studies molecular biology and biotechnology. Her hobbies are dancing, drawing, reading books, and playing online games. She also listens to K-pop music groups such as Seventeen, BTS, and Enhypen. She's also a fan of F1 racing. Sunod naman ang nagbabalik na si Vince. Vince is a BS Geography student in UP Diliman. He's a self-proclaimed 24-7 dancing machine. Ano kayo ibig sabihin niya? Tatanungin natin mamaya. Also, he listens a lot to songs that make you feel like you're a model. Parang very OA si Vince. <laughs> and finally, we have Ria. Ria is a third year BA Theater Art student in UP Diliman. She loves musical theater and is a jazz singer. Her current favorite artist is Louis V. She is fascinated with French and hopes to be able to sing operas in the language and become a fluent speaker in the future. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque. Professor of Mathematics from UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. It's time, let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. The third highest grossing Japanese movie of 2023 and 37th film of its franchise featured which radioactive monster? Macy. Godzilla. Godzilla is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Reasonable woman is the first solo album in eight years of which female singer who became famous for the hit singles Cheap Thrills and Chandelier? Vince. Sia. Sia is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What day of the week is Easter celebrated? Ria. Sunday. Sunday is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In what city in Rizal can you find the Hinulugang Taktak Waterfalls and the San Pedro Kalungsod Parish Church? Ria. Angona is wrong. Anyone can steal? Vince. Antipolo. Antipolo, kahit hindi ka sure, is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. In May 2024, music icon Madonna performed in a concert that drew a record 1.6 million fans. In what Brazilian city? Vince. Sao, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is wrong. The correct answer is Rio de Janeiro. Taya. Question number six. According to an English proverb, that traces its roots in the 12th century Germany, blood is thicker than what? Jana. Water. Water is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What planet goes into retrograde when it apparently switches directions and moves via? Mercury. Let me proceed. Directions and moves in reverse across the sky as it did four times in 2024. 
Mercury is correct. Okay, check. So, four times pala this 2024. Yeah. Okay, question number eight. What is the nickname of the Boston team that stars Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum? Celtics. Celtics is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What is the major sugar found in milk which cannot be broken down by the small intestines in some people? Maria. Lactose. Lactose is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In what African country was Muammar Gaddafi removed from office in 2011? Yes, Vince. Nigeria. Nigeria is wrong. Anyone can steal. Jana. Congo. Congo is wrong. Only Macy and Ria can answer. The correct answer is Libya. Question number 11. In geometry, what is the area in square meters of a triangle that has a base of 8 meters and a height of 10 meters? The correct answer is 40. Last question for this round, number 12. In chemistry, what common gas causes bubbles in soft drinks? Ria. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. So after that round, we have Ria in the lead with 50 points, followed by Vince with 20 points, and Jana and Macy with 10 points each. So, contestants dito sa ating show, meron tayong segment na mas kinikilala natin ang mga contestants. Ito ang Kay Chica. Simula natin si Macy. Macy, medyo may pagka malalim yung sinabi mong finding harmony in the pursuit of artistic expression and personal vitality. Exactly, ano ang gusto mong ma-achieve dito? Um, I, I really like to explore and do new things that are outside of my comfort zone because I like being active and I also like to learn a lot of new things, new languages or any new skill like baking, anything practical. So um, by joining K-Check, um, not only do I wish to enjoy but also challenge myself into um, answering questions that I think aren't usually asked by people. So, stock knowledge. <laughs> stock knowledge, basically, ang puhunan okay. mo. Anong languages na natutunan mo so far? Um, I studied Chinese for Mandarin for 12 years. And wow. um, I also studied Korean. And hopefully, uh, I wish to study more po Japanese, Japanese in the naman. future. Okay. So, mostly Asian yes, languages. Okay. Thank you so much, Macy. Very interesting. Sunod naman, kilalani natin si Jana. So, Jana, what do you wish to be when you grow up? Kung MBB o itong Molecular Biology and Biotechnology ang course mo. Nung kinuha ko itong class na to dati, gumawa kami ng yogurt. <laughs> Ikaw, anong gusto mo maging uh, as a MBB major? As an MBB major, pangarap kong makaalis na ng MBB. Yes! Guys, totoo. By graduating. Shifty tayo! Oh, shifty. <laughs> Saan? Sa sciences pa rin? Or? Sa geography na po. Geography. Silipad Ayaw ka ng ng ano, molecular bio. Gusto ko ng mga ano. Nakailang years Ilan. ka na sa MBB? One lang. Ah, one. So, talagang gusto mo. One lang po. Jog naman. Okay, one maraming salamat sa'yo, Jana. And Macy, mamaya babalikan natin si Vince at si Ria naman. So, Ngayon naman, paghandaan na natin ang round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. In the lead, si Ria with 50 points followed by Vince with 20 points. At si Macy at Jana naman with 10 points each. Ngayon naman, tuloy na natin ang next part ng Kay Chica. Ngayon naman, si Vince ang kakausapin natin na returnee na nakita natin last season. So, gusto kong uh, i-emphasize dito, bakit mo nasabing isa kang 24-7 dancing machine? Anong ibig sabihin niyan, Vince? Very ano? 
na intriga ako. Um, as a K-pop fan, uh, maraming nagsasabi about sa mga idols nila na dancing machine. Tapos, dati, <laughs> nag-audition ako sa mga sa big four na companies ng K-pop. Oh. <laughs> Asus, OA. Tapos, yun. Um, How was the experience? Ma ano nag-send lang po kasi ng mga ah, uh, okay. masaya no kasi I really love to dance kahit paggagising ko pa lang bigla ako sasayaw kahit nasa CR ako kahit sasayaw saan? ako oh, po. kahit dito some hala no ano anong song yung gusto mong ano sayawan hala pantropic ko no focus na lang po tayo sa ah, focus lang muna <laughs> Okay, sige, maraming salamat Vince. Pero may isa pa akong tanong pala sa'yo. Kasi nabanggit mo rin na may mga songs na you feel like a model. Anong mga songs yun? <laughs> so, rumaramba ka talaga pag narinig mo yung songs na to? Opo, yung mga nasa playlist ko, like mga kanta ni Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> um, ano yung bago ano, niya? Yung Peace, um, Peace, Peace. Si... Espresso. Oh, si... Um, si Madonna. Madonna. <laughs> uh, Opo. Oh, Tapos, yung mga pang Miss Universe na songs. <laughs> ano yung mga pang Miss Universe na songs? Yung sa ano, yung instructions ni Demi Lovato. Tapos, ano po ba yan? Motivation ni Normani. <laughs> okay. Sige. Sana mapatugtog natin yan. Makita ka namin rumampa. Maraming salamat sa you, Vince. At good luck. Ngayon naman si Ria. So, Ria, hindi ba magkaiba yung musical theater and jazz singing or how is it different? Um, well, different genres po siya. However, merong parang era ng musical theater na heavily influenced by jazz uh, melodies. So, ayun, I'm really into that. Like so, which, ano? Uh, Chicago, Chicago. And yung mga older ones like Anything Goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Tapos, fascinated ka rin sa French language. Yes. Why? Hindi ko po alam. Parang nakaka-main character. Nakaka-main character. <laughs> Wala. Um, uh, Mag-hello ka nga sa viewers natin and welcome them to K-Check in French. Bonjour! Bienvenue, K-Check! Magkaka-franchise na tayo sa France. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat kina Vince and Ria. But now it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. What is the name of the volcano in the island of Negros that erupted in June 2024? The correct answer is Canlaon. Question number two. In what country did Narendra Modi become Prime Minister in 2014? The correct answer is India. Question number three in mythology. What is the name of the nymph that fell in love with Narcissus and was deprived of her speech? except for the ability to repeat the last words of another person. The correct answer is echo. Question number four. Which six foot ten basketball player has won seven most valuable player trophies in the PBA? Correct answer is Jun Mar Fajardo. Question number five. In what country did a revolution begin in 1956 in Budapest when university students protested against USSR's geopolitical domination? The correct answer is Hungary. Kaya pa? <laughs> Question number six. What TV sitcom about six young adults who are either roommates or neighbors in New York City's Greenwich Village was aired from 1994 to 2004? Vince. Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Big Bang Theory is wrong. Dana. Friends. Friends is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the name of the Islamic festival celebrated on June 17, 2024, which is also known as the Feast of Sacrifice. Ria. Idil Adha. 
Idil Adha is correct. Okay, check. Question number 8. In elementary math, what decimal number is equivalent to the fraction 5 over 2? Missy. 2.0. 2.0 is wrong. Vince. 2.5. 2.5 is correct. Okay, check. Question number 9. What did Elisha Otis invent in the 19th century that saw the rise in popularity of tall buildings? Nakikita niyo yan sa loob ng elevator. So elevator is the correct answer. Di ba may mga Otis na, ano, na brand? Okay. Question number 10. NASA's Curiosity rover discovered a collection of rocks unusually rich in manganese oxide scattered on an ancient shoreline in what planet? The correct answer is Mars. Question number 11. Which city in Palawan is the host of the 2024 World Dragon Boat Championships? The correct answer is Puerto Princesa. Last question for this round, number 12. What 2024 hit song of Dua Lipa has a one-word title that means something that may look real, but it's actually not? Ria. Illusion. Illusion is correct. Hey, okay, check. And that ends round number two. Okay, let's do a scores recap. In the lead, Siria with 90 points, followed by Jana and Vince with 30 points each. At si Macy naman, pwede pang humabol sa ating susunod na round. Dahil hindi pa tapos ang laban, ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check. Points recap tayo. Ria is in the lead with 90 points. Followed by Jana and Vince with 30 points each. At si Macy naman, pwede pang humabol dito sa ating susunod na round. Meron tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each. At my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and the answer, but not the letter only. Kaya naman, let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Buena mano, mathematics. If one can finish painting a wall in two hours and Pedro can finish the same job also in two hours, how long will they finish painting the wall if they work together? A. 30 minutes B. 1 hour C. 1 hour and 15 minutes D. 1 hour and 30 minutes or E. 2 hours Ito yung walang kamatayang work problem, di ba? So, dito ahanapin si X kahit ayaw nyo na siya. So, you let X be the number of hours that they will need to finish the job. So, may gin siyang X over 2 plus X over 2 equals 1. So, link for X. X equals 1. Letter B. Thank you so much, Prof. Maria. Next question, Prof. Neil. What is the study of ancient writing systems a diplomatics b genealogy c numismatics d paleography e penmanship vince <laughs> d paleography grabe ang kaba ni vince pero ang <laughs> sagot mo sa tanong I K check. Letter D, paleography. Correct answer. K check. 
Thank you so much. Next question, Prof. Sophie. Okay. Um, according to Philippine pre-Hispanic standards of beauty, which of the following was not considered beautiful? A. Black teeth. B. Red teeth. C. White teeth. D. Teeth sharpened to a point. E. Teeth with gold implants. Okay. Um, yung ano yung option A black teeth. That does not mean rotten teeth. No, it means that they blackened the teeth on purpose. Um, um, Pre-Hispanic standards of beauty considered quite unmodified teeth to be fit only for wild animals. So they did lots of things to their teeth. No. Okay. So now we know. Thank you so much. So that ends the first round. Now we're off to the second round, Prof. Marian. Second question for me, Hindi mathematics. Okay. Animals. Which of the following is not a marine mammal? A. Whale. B. Orca. C. Dolphin. D. Dugong. Or E. Butanding. Kolo ko alam niyo ito. So, lahat to except orca wala meron sa Pilipinas. ba? Whale, orca, mammal. Dolphin is a mammal. Dugong is a sikaw, a manatee, which is also a mammal. Abutanding is a whale shark. It's a shark, so it's not a mammal. Correct answer is E, butanding or whale shark. Now we know. Thank you so much, Prof. Neil. Na challenge din ako sa tanong mo, Ma'am Maria. <laughs> Nag-isip ako na matindi ko ano yung tamang sagot. What is the chronological order of presidential administrations during the Third Republic? A. Rojas Quirino Garcia Magsaysay Makapagal B. Rojas Quirino Makapagal Magsaysay Garcia C. Rojas Quirino Magsaysay Garcia Makapagal D. Rojas Quirino Magsaysay Makapagal Garcia E. Rojas Quirino Makapagal Garcia Magsaysay Wala pang nakakatama sa mga tanong na katulad nito. Ang hira pala ng mga chronology question. So, ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Rojas Quirino Magsaysay Garcia Makapagal. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Well, kind of related, no? To Sir Neil's. Okay, in Quezon City, there is an Art Deco-style monument consisting of three connected columns 66 feet high each topped by a grieving angel holding a sampagita wreath what is this monument called a edsa shrine b rizal monument c bonifacio monument d Quezon memorial shrine e Pinaglabanan Shrine. Jana. Quezon Memorial Shrine. Um, okay. So, um, I mentioned yung 66 feet columns. Actually, they're 66 feet for a reason. Because when Quezon died, no, Manuel Luis Quezon, no, he was almost 66 years old. Uh, so, Quezon Memorial Shrine is correct. Okay, check! <laughs> Let's go, Jana. Ibig sabihin pala kung mas matanda siya na matay, mas mataas yung monument. And interesting na Art Deco pala siya. Okay. 
Thank you so much, Prof. Sophie. Okay, so that ends our first half. Let's do a scores recap first. Ria is still in the lead with 90 points. Vince and Jana with 60 points. Kanina pa kayo tay. Si Macy naman pwede pang humabol sa ating last half which is meron pang 180 points na pwede nyong pag-agawan. Simulan na natin ang third round. Prof. Marian, go ahead. Sana naman meron na kayo masagot sa akin. Okay. Ito. What is the subgroup of plants which bear flowers and fruits which enclose the seeds? A. Gymnosperm B. Angiosperm C. Talophyta D. Monocotyledons or E. Dicotyledons Mga takot sumagot! <laughs> Wala pang score si Prof. Marian ata. Wala pa akong score. Ikaw talaga, you're keeping track of our scores. So, though, all of these are classification diba, of plants. And monocotyledons, dicotyledons, these are just um, in terms of the number of leaves in the embryo. Alam niyo naman yon. Example ng monocotyledon, monocot, monograss. Okay? Talophyta, these are simple plants. Now, so choice nyo lang, gymnosperm, angiosperm. Hula nyo? Angiosperm. angiosperm. Alam nyo pala, and the correct answer is... B. Angiosperm. Sayang. Thank you. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Sobra lang segurista yung mga contestants natin. Kailangan nyo mag-risk take. Lalong-lalo na hahabuli nyo sa Ria sa lead. Okay. So, in, in historical method, this refers to the criticism that answers questions pertinent to the authenticity of a historical source by identifying who composed the historical material and locating when and where the historical material was composed. A. Absolute criticism B. External criticism C. Historical criticism D. Relative criticism E. Internal criticism Pag tinitignan ng isang storyador yung content ng isang document, internal criticism ang tawag doon. Pero pag hinahanap lang niya sino ang nagsulat nito, kailan nito nasulat, saan nito sinulat, ang tamang sagot ay letter B, external criticism. Thanks Prof. Neil. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Okay, yung matakot. No? During the Middle Ages and Renaissance, Blue paint was very expensive. This is because the pigment was prepared from a semi-precious stone that was mined in Afghanistan, then shipped to Europe. What is this semi-precious stone called? A. Lapis lazuli or lazuli B. Turquoise C. Amethyst D. Sapphire E. Opal Easy. A. Lapis Lazuli Okay. So, um, Lapis Lazuli, which was imported no, from Afghanistan back in the Middle Ages, no, traveled a lot. It was so expensive. And Lapis Lazuli means stone from the heavens no, or the sky. Uh, so, A. Eh, lapis Lazuli is correct. I'm so glad you were brave, Macy. Okay, check. Thank you so much. Okay, so lahat kayo may scores na ngayon. And now we're off to the last round. 90 points left. So, kung sino makasagot, makakuha nitong mga scores na to, hindi pa natin malalaman kung sino talaga ang mananalo. So, let's go. Prof. Marian, go ahead. Okay. Sumagot na kayo, please. I know math for... Teachers are scary, but I'm not. Okay? Mukha lang. Ito about teeth also. Amalgam used to be the only material used for dental fillings. But this has been replaced by materials 
which are more compatible with our teeth. Which of the following metals form forms an amalgam as an alloy with other metals? A. Mercury B. Lead C. Zinc D. Tungsten E. Platinum Easy. Uh, e. Platinum Mali Anyone can answer Zinc Zinc Mali. Chana. D. Tungsten. Mali pa din. Okay, marami na nung na-eliminate, Priya. Pili ka na lang sa natitira. D. Lead. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, baka hindi nyo na inabutan yung amalgam. So, these are very unsightly dental fillings. So, hindi sila white. And they are considered not so safe now because of the leak in the human body of the metal mercury. But thank you for trying. The correct answer is a mercury. Thank you. And nagtry sila lahat in fairness. Nagtry sila lahat. <laughs> Wala nga thank you. Tumama. Thank you. Prof Neil, your last question, please. Kailangan mapahanga tayo sa yung kapangahasan. Okay. Pero hindi lahat ng risk-taking palaging positibo. Kanina puro negatibo yung mga risk-taking niya. Okay, so, um, this refers to a personal relationship between a pair of individuals with unequal socioeconomic statuses where reciprocal exchange of goods and services takes place in a particularistic way. A. Altruism B. Clientelism C. Patronage D. Reciprocity E. Synergy Sobrang hira pala na social science term ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Clientelism Thank you. Now off to our last question for this round, Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Oh, may history din dito. In 1661, King Louis XIV of France established the world's first ballet school, the Académie Royale de Danse. Its head dancing master, Pierre Beauchamp, invented the five positions, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, of ballet, which remained the foundation of formal classical ballet, a ballet technique. To this day, many ballet terms are in French. What do you do when you jete? A. Glide B. Step C. Jump D. Split E. Spin yeah. Okay. Uh, so when you do a jeté, you're actually throwing yourself, no, from one foot and then landing on the other foot. And yes, it is a jump. Um, C jump is correct. K check. And that's it for our K check ultimate pagalingan. Congratulations to Ria. Our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 105 points. Congratulations. Thank you. So, we'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Macy, Jana, and Vince for joining. Palapakan natin sila. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Sophia. Once again, this is Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.